I think it's a very big moment, a huge moment. Perhaps no one understands the politics of gun control better than Sarah Brady, a 28-year advocate for stronger gun control laws. She became chairman of the Brady Center to prevent gun violence after her husband Jim Brady was wounded and disabled during the assassination attempt on President Ronald Reagan in 1981. The huge moment she sees is political, with the country still angered about the shootings in Newtown, Connecticut. You could go your whole life and never know anyone who was ever shot. Or, uh, but when something happens, like what happened to these children, that wakes up every mom and dad, every aunt and uncle, brother and sister in the country. Do you think what happened in Newtown has changed the politics in Washington? I think that people are more willing to talk about it. That includes strong pro-gun politicians like Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, who famously carried and shot a gun in an ad for his 2010 campaign. Manchin has told the president that after Newtown, he's open to reasonable gun control. Do you think Senator Manchin's willingness to discuss gun control now, is that significant? If Joe Manchin is doing that, then more moderate members for sure on, the, on this particular issue are really, uh, are really thinking it over. What kinds of laws do you think possible to pass Congress right now? I think the background check is possible, and I think a magazine and assault weapon bans are possible. What about that argument that the assault weapons ban didn't prevent something like Columbine? It would not have prevented Cho at Virginia Tech. Well, the fact is, no law is going to pre be perfect. The argument, Ms. Brady, though, is that don't pass them because they don't work. But they do help. Uh, if they save any lives, they're worth it. Brady believes that gun control legislation will still be extremely difficult to pass, even with the memories of Newtown still fresh, because of the power of the NRA, because of the strong national tradition in support of gun rights. Scott, she believes the president and vice president will be fighting this legislative battle uphill. Thank you, Wyatt. The National Rifle Association says that laws restricting gun ownership are not the answer, and the NRA has proposed putting armed guards in schools. On Thursday, Vice President Biden will meet with the NRA. Biden has been asked by President Obama to come up with new ideas to reduce gun violence.